course, the January 6th hearings have put a spotlight on Congresswoman Liz Cheney, the Republican representative from Wyoming. Yeah, she's one of only two Republicans to sit on this select committee investigating the Capitol attack and has used her platform to condemn former President Trump and her own party for, quote, defending the indefensible. NBC News senior politics reporter John Allen joins us now from Jackson Hole, Wyoming. John, good morning. Good to see you there. So, I mean, we know Cheney represents a state that Trump won in a landslide in 2020, but at the same time, the Cheney name is huge there. So what's the response been like there to her role in this investigation? Well, good morning, Joe, and good morning, Savannah. Uh, the response here, generally speaking, has been pretty bad. Uh, Republicans here mostly, uh, and I've been uh, in the, the state a couple of different places over the past couple of weeks. It's been, uh, it's been negative. A lot of Republicans don't like that she's taking on uh, Donald Trump, uh, whether it's this committee or voting to impeach him earlier. Um, but right now, I'm in uh, Teton County in Jackson, um, and there's a little bit more diversity of opinion here, and that matters because uh, Democrats can re-register and vote in Republican primaries in Wyoming, and some of them are planning to do that. Uh, we've talked to a bunch of voters out here with a variety of spe uh, views. Uh, let's listen to some of them. I don't think she should be in charge of anything. She's not for the common person. She's not for Wyoming. She's just playing the game. I think she's courageous to do what she's doing, but I don't agree with her, her politics. I don't agree with the fact that she kind of betrayed Trump. I'm very impressed by Liz Cheney. Um, I, I'm super impressed by her. I still am not uh, aligned with her opinions, and, and, but I'm happy that she's part of this and she's very strong about this. And that, uh, that last voter you just heard from is one of those uh, Democrats that's planning to switch over and vote in the Republican primary for Cheney. Mm. Uh, that's something that we'll have to see whether it gains traction as a movement or not. Yeah, so let's talk about what she could see in this upcoming election. So she's facing a Republican primary challenge for her seat. What's the latest polling in that race? Do we have a sense of whether the January 6th investigation and these public hearings that we have being televised, are they helping or hurting her? Uh, Tony Fabrizio, the pollster for Donald Trump, is also doing uh, polling of the race here. The primary opponent uh, or the main primary opponent for Liz Cheney is a woman named Harriet Hageman. Uh, the polling that Fabrizio has done, as our colleague Mark Caputo reported recently, uh, has Hageman up about 30 points right now. There are actually several other candidates in the race. Uh, the key for Cheney would be to try to get to that one-third mark or 35 percent mark right now. She's polling in the 20s, according to uh, the other side. Now, when you ask Cheney's folks how what their polls look like, they won't tell you. So uh, presumably uh, they're not a whole lot better. We'd probably be hearing about that. All right. John, thank you so much for joining us from Wyoming. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.